This is Mike Goldenberg. I'm here with a slightly different brew. Uh, Temer Moon. Just in an open queue. On the die roll. Uh, sure. This hand has a turn to Blood Moon. Um, it also has a little bit of extra late game power with Ancestral Vision. And then add some redundancy to protect myself under Moon because I don't actually have the capacity to do very much. I'm facing Tron, which is uh, always fun to beat up on. The only thing I'm missing at the moment is a semblance of a clock. Uh, that certainly helps. I still need more land. It's possible I should have waited one more turn to cast the Blood Moon so I could have cast a Noble and then untapped with a little bit more mana. But hey, it's always fun to cast a turn to Blood Moon. Okay. Don't see a need to play the Noble High Arc when my opponent has an Oblivion Stone out. Boss holding it might be enable to me to uh, flip the Huntmaster. So my opponent would have Tron right now, but instead they uh, have to play fair. 1 plus 1 plus 1 does not equal 7 under a Blood Moon. This deck does run Bloodbraid Elf, so the best possible draw um, in a Bloodbraid deck is uh, usually Bloodbraid. Little trouble now, the O-Stone did get rid of the Blood Moon. Oh. But I do have my opponent on a two-turn clock. Granted, they have seven cards in hand and uh, Tron online, so I could be in trouble here.
<laughs> okay. Best possible draw, blood, uh, blood braid into another blood moon. And I do get a few draws, and Ancestral Vision is coming off. Not much to do here except swing in. I do have another one next turn. So I still have my opponent on a clock. Ah, uh, looks like an Ugin. Ah, uh, Ulamog, sorry. Problem I had with my hand, um, it didn't have any pressure on it. So now I have a... I win if my opponent attacks. Otherwise I just have to wait it out. I assume they have something else in their hand with five cards. Sure, that's actually kind of awesome. I guess if I draw an Electrolyze into a Bolt, I can win. Very specific, but I still have an out. Okay, now I'm done. Technically, I did still have one out left. I didn't check the Exile pile. Alright, so my opponent's going to bring in Hate for the Blood Moon. I just need to not be slow. Uh, Magus the Moon is pretty good here. Spreading Seas is pretty good here. I actually like Reclamation Sage against Tron. Roast is bad. Electrolyze is actively bad. And uh, Bolt isn't great. Also, I'm not a huge fan of Ancestral Vision. I feel it's a little slow in this matchup. I think I'd rather have actually probably the Bolt. Hand doesn't do anything. Hand has no lands. Alright. Got a spreading seas to look forward to. And if I had played a turn one. Noble or bird, I could have blown up the expedition map with my reclamation sage.
Explore. That's interesting. opponent still does not have Tron unless they blow up the Spreading Seas. And they have enough mana to do that next turn. But I do have the Reclamation Sage. Representing lethal on the swing back, thanks to Savage Knuckle Blade's um, green ability, which pumps him up. So, my opponent grabbed another tower. Not sure what that was about. If they had just grabbed a power plant, that would have been fine. I had a bit better of a clock that time, even though I mulliganed to almost nothing. Um, my opponent has a pretty big reliance on artifacts. I think I might want to bring in an Ancient Grudge to maybe blow up something a little bit earlier. Really, I'm not a fan of these Ancestral Visions. I feel like they really just don't do anything. Is it Charm might even be better in this case. Really missing that turn one accelerant. But this is a keepable hand. I'll have one of each land, uh, all basics, and uh, Blood Moon available to me on turn three. I have a clock with Tarmogoyf and Savage Knuckle Blade. Good news is my opponent played a Ghost Quarter, so I'm not going to have turn 3 Tron, because I really have no way of slowing that down. 
They grabbed a forest, uh, probably because they're expecting some sort of blood moon. Really missing the mana accelerant, which could have really sped me up this game. Uh, my options here are drop a savage or drop a blood moon. They don't have Tron available yet, so I think I'd rather play my creature. And then drop blood moon next turn. There's a mine we know about. <laughs> Oblivion Stone. One, two, three, four, five. And they will have five mana, so I actually can't play Blood Moon. I'm forced to play Ancient Grudge. So Ancient Grudge will cost 2 mana, I will still have 2 mana accessible, which would let me play a Lightning Bolt. So, play land. Okay, so my opponent whiffed anyway. It's probably a worm coil. Yep. Okay. Try to work through that worm coil one piece at a time. I should fetch a stomping ground, that'll give me a little bit more freedom. I keep thinking I'm under a blood moon, but I'm not yet. If I bolt the lifelink, swing in, they'll block the savage, and they'll go to five. But that doesn't let me play a blood moon. I'll pass. Next turn I will bolt one of the threats and start swinging in. So our opponent would have had it. If we hadn't played Blood Moon, uh, they would have had Tron. Don't know what the rest of their hand is, two cards, but... Actually, kill the death touch just to protect my threat. My 
opponent is forced to block here. And I'm representing lethal. This is an Ugin, I'm pretty sad. Karn's fine. <sighs> That's not fine. Okay, so Blood Braid Elf into a Lightning Bolt uh, will seal the deal. <laughs> okay, but I have the Bloodbraid Elf to finish them off, unless my opponent is hiding some sort of interaction here, um, or a blocker. I have it. Thought not here be pretty bad. Okay, so the deck itself, show it a little bit, it's not a pretty deck, it's very rough, very rough around the edges, it is not well tuned, it's just just a pile of fun cards that's all this deck is um, it can grind pretty well with the ancestral vision um, I've had decent success against blue white control with it thanks to blood moon and blood braid elf those the two for one and shutting down some of their cards is actually pretty sweet uh, they do run a lot of basics but shutting down colonnade shutting down Oskanta is it's pretty nice, and slowing them down on their mana. Tireless Tracker is always great. Savage Knuckleblade is actually not that good. Um, he's a 3 mana 4-4. Four, four. He should be better, but his mana restrictions are real, and his abilities aren't that great. They cost a little bit too much mana. So this is the deck. Um... Tried it out a couple, a couple, against a couple different things. Uh, what it's clearly missing is removal for large creatures, just with that singleton roast in the main and another one in the side. So cards like Death Shadow um, and Tarmogoyf are uh, certainly a problem for this deck. I thought about running an Unsummon, which would be pretty sweet, or one of those at the Unsummon that makes your opponent lose a life. That'd be pretty sweet for some matchups, like uh, certainly would stop Worm Coil Engine and even give you a little bit of tempo against even an Ulamog, but I prefer the burn, those mix mismatched Lightning Bolts. But anyways, that's the deck, Timmer Moon. It's not a great deck, it's just for fun. Uh, I hope you liked it.